It was nightmare night in Ponyville, and Spike was trying to guess Twilight Sparkle's costume. Are you that one kooky grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? I'm Star Swirl the Bearded. Did you even read that book I gave you about obscure unicorn history? Suddenly, there was a knock at the door, and Spike rushed to answer it. That sounds important. <laughs> Pinkie Pie and a group of young ponies came by to gather candy at Twilight's house. Hi, every pony. Great costumes. <laughs> Pipsqueak the pirate at your service. It's my very first nightmare night. Not even Pinkie Pie knew who Twilight was pretending to be. Yeah, great costume, Twilight. Oh, you make a fantastic weirdo clown. <laughs> a clown? On the way to the Nightmare Night Festival, Rainbow Dash sneaked up on Pinkie Pie and pranked her. And then we went to Cheerilee's house and we got a bunch more goodies, didn't we, Pip? Sure did! <laughs> Twilight Sparkle did not think scaring ponies was fun, but Rainbow Dash disagreed. Rainbow Dash, that wasn't very nice. Oh, it's all in good fun! Oh, oh, there's another goop over there! Twilight Sparkle and Spike joined the crowd in Ponyville to start the night celebrations. Thank you, every pony, and welcome to the Nightmare Night Festival! Hey, yeah! Now, follow our friend Zakora to hear the legend of Nightmare Moon! <laughs> Her spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> Zakora appeared in a puff of smoke and told the ponies to follow her to the Everfree Forest to hear her tale. Follow me, and very soon you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Zakora told the tale of Nightmare Night when ponies put on costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon. Um, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? Ponies would also offer candy to Nightmare Moon so she would not gobble them up. A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two, so she won't return to come eat you! Suddenly, a chariot appeared in the sky. Could it be Nightmare Moon? Pinkie Pie cried out in fright, and all the ponies scampered back to Ponyville. The scary figure was not Nightmare Moon. It was Princess Luna arriving to celebrate. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast! But Pinkie Pie misunderstood. She thought Luna was there to gobble up all the ponies. Did you hear that, every pony? Nightmare Moon said she's gonna feast on us all! <laughs> No! Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. Luna was upset about being mistaken for Nightmare Moon, so Twilight followed her into the forest. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now even got the bells right. Thank you. Finally, some pony who gets my costume. Twilight told Luna that even though she was trying to be friendly, her approach was still intimidating. Change our approach? Lower the volume? Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. 
After Twilight Sparkle took Princess Luna to see Fluttershy, Luna learned to speak with a nicer tone. A little quieter, Princess. And how about now? Yes, well done. Princess Luna was grateful that her friends were able to help her speak with the other ponies. I thank thee, dear Fluttershy! Our normal speaking voice shall surely win us the hearts of thy fellow villagers! Twilight and Applejack showed Princess Luna how fun Nightmare Night could be with a game of pumpkin toss. You can do it, Princess! Fire away, Princess! She enjoyed playing Nightmare Night games with the other ponies and decided to try bobbing for apples. Ha! Huh, your princess enjoys this! Fun! Luna arrived at the barrel just in time to rescue Pipsqueak. However, Pinkie Pie screamed because it looked like Luna was trying to gobble up Pipsqueak. Princess Luna was tired of being misunderstood, so she delivered some shocking news. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her, and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be cancelled forever! She declared Nightmare Night cancelled and stormed out of Ponyville. The ponies were upset that Nightmare Night had been cancelled, and the festival was ruined. But I want it to be a zombie next year! <laughs> Shoot, we had everything going our way. Luna was happy, every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. Twilight Sparkle vowed to fix everything. She decided the first thing to do was talk to Pinkie Pie. It's not over yet. What are you gonna do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Twilight explained to Pinkie Pie that Luna was not trying to eat any pony. She's changed, Pinkie. She's not evil or scary anymore. And she definitely doesn't want to gobble you up. Well, duh! Pinkie Pie admitted she knew that all along, but actually liked being scared on Nightmare Night. Sometimes it's just really fun to be scared. Fun? Pinkie Pie, you're a genius! Twilight Sparkle realized that sometimes ponies like being frightened and planned a spooky surprise with Luna. Gosh, I never thought my very first Nightmare Night would be my very last. Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. Following Twilight's plan, Luna pretended to be Nightmare Moon and gave the young ponies a good scare. Citizens of Ponyville, who were wise to bring this candy to me? I am pleased with your offering, so pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you! Princess Luna removed her disguise, showing that she was not Nightmare Moon. Luna was concerned that Twilight's plan only made the young ponies more afraid of her. I am not certain that did what you meant for it to do, Twilight Sparkle. Just wait. For what? For, for them to scream some more? Just then, Pipsqueak came back to ask Princess Luna if she would join them again next year. Do you suppose maybe you could come back next year and scare us again anyway? Child! Art thou saying that thou likest me to scare you? It's really fun. Scary, but fun. Princess Luna realized that the ponies liked her for who she was and had fun being scared by her on Nightmare Night. See? They really do like you, Princess. Well then, we shall have to bring Nightmare Night back! Whoa! You're my favorite princess ever! Every pony was having fun now, 
and Luna spent the rest of Nightmare Night celebrating with her new friends. Oh, most wonderful of... I mean... Oh, most wonderful of nights. <laughs> the end.